perspective, the U.S.-China relationship is very wide-ranging. It is relatively mature in that we have a lot of contact back and forth on a very frequent basis between the bureaucracies on both sides, not only state, treasury, commerce, USTR, et cetera, but even housing and urban development, health and human services, you name it. Uh, our governments deal with each other across the board. Our top leaders deal with each other very frequently, by phone and in person. Uh, and all of this helps to keep this relationship in balance. Having said that, I think we have some very big problems uh, that we confront. Uh, one of the most significant of those, I believe, is a problem of lack of mutual trust. We have built this relationship over 30 years. It's been more successful, I think, than either side would have anticipated 30 years ago. But at the end of the day, neither side trusts the long-term intentions of the other. The narrative in China is very much that the U.S. is number one, with China number two in the global economic rankings now. Uh, the U.S. inevitably seeks to hold down China's rise or even to disrupt that rise to prevent competition from a rising power. On the U.S. side, I think we still look for a win-win outcome with China. We want to see China's rise. We think that holds a lot of opportunities. Uh, we uh, certainly don't want China to fail. We think the problems that would be created are ones that no one knows how to manage. But I will say we want China to rise as a constructive global player in the, basically the current international system. My own feeling is at the end of the day, our military postures in Asia are not going to inspire mutual trust over the next 15 years. Uh, military postures change very slowly. 15 years from now is already largely determined by uh, investments and developments in, in training already. Which I think is really the non-military side that requires a lot of work. Uh, and when I talk to our uh, key people who shape China policy in the United States, I kind of stress this framework encourage them to think more in terms of what are the particular things that we can do and China can do that would build mutual trust, that would address that particular problem.